Hello there, thanks for watching. Uh, this is PT Bubbles and we're going to be doing a timing belt replacement on a 2004 PT Cruiser with the wood paneling on the side, so I call it woody. Um, the timing belt replacement, you know, usually that's something you service every 60,000 miles, 100,000 miles, depends on the vehicle. Um, in this case, the timing belt, um, when we purchased the vehicle about a year ago, approximately, we were told the belt had been replaced and there was a receipt and everything. Um, it snapped and so now it needs a belt replacement and I thought it'd be a great chance to film that process from the start to finish, you know, everything from taking the grill off, the, the bumper off, which I do, um, and so you get to see that process. Why? Because this is one of the most tricky repairs uh, on a PT Cruiser on this motor and I believe there's a lot of PT cruisers that are considered dead uh, or like the motor's blown or something is seriously wrong with it and it can't be repaired because of a snapped timing belt um, and also head gasket. That would be the like the next one. The, the two repairs that I think are um, the hardest probably for you know something that you do um, not on a regular basis, but semi-regular um, when it's needed every, you know, when it calls for it. Um, it's probably the most common difficult repair and it, it causes people to uh, shy away from getting the PT repaired or, or they just think it's dead. So that's another reason why I wanted to film this. Um, it is doable. You can do it. You do need some tools to get it done. I, I'll give a list of tools so you can see. Um, and I hope that what I show uh, will make you feel like, hey, I, maybe I can tackle this. And um, you'll see that, there, that I use some different methods of getting it done than what's in the service manual. I will include some service manual pictures uh, of some of the pages because of some of the more um, tricky procedures like setting the timing with the cam gears and on the crankshaft gear, you know, lining that all up. And that's where I also deviate from what's in the, uh, in the service manual as well. Um, my brother had a great idea of, uh, and this is his PT Cruiser too, had a great idea of when setting the timing, what if you put it on the belts and you got it all lined up and then you took the cam gears off to fit that belt around the tensioner pulley because that is probably the hardest part of putting the timing belt on is the way you have to route it and fitting it around the tensioner pulley. So um, that's the trick that um, first he used and then I've adopted it as well and I think it, it actually helps pull the timing or pull the cam gears off once you've got the belt in place and everything's lined up that gives you the slack you can route it around the tensioner pulley and then it's it's easier I think to put the cam gear back in place on the the camshaft um, the end of the camshaft than it is to try and route the belt around the tensioner pulley with the cam gears mounted that may not make sense maybe you have a better method I have done it the the way in the service manual um, Yes, it is possible. I found this to be easier, you know, having to do it multiple times. So, uh, enjoy.
I really quickly wanted to say that um, to do this repair, I like to remove, and this is after doing it a number of times, so I find this to be much more effective. Remove the bumper, um, remove the, um, the headlight assembly on the passenger side. That is going to give you much greater access uh, to reach into the really tight spaces uh, to get off the harmonic balancer, the, the whole timing assembly, the cover, the belt, um, that center motor mount bracket, the, the one that's like the, the hardest part to get to on that motor probably. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. Um, that's why you see me take off you know, all the bumper and the grill and the, you know, uh, all that stuff, which may not necessarily be what's in the service manual, it may not be recommended, but hey, I recommend it if you want to minimize uh, the time it takes to reach in, to get to, to you know, really tight spaces, beating up your knuckles and getting cuts and bruises, um, just being frustrated, and I think it shortens the amount of time to actually do the repair. Just taking a little bit of extra step to remove those things so they're out of the way, gives you so much more room, I think it makes it go faster. Enjoy.
Thank <laughs> you.